Today, we have an E200 W212 with a jet engine light on a dashboard. The car still start and drive, but acceleration is slightly poor. Let's work out the problem with this vehicle. I've already connected the scanner with the engines. Now let's check for code. Go to the ACM section. And read in full code. As you can see the TTC result, there is trouble code regarding to the position center of the exhaust camshaft. This DTC is what causes the check engine light. Let's see all live data related to this problem. When the engine is in idle position, there's changes of data in the intake camshaft from the right cylinder bank, but the data remains unchanged in the exhaust bank. When we press the gas pedal, the result once again don't have any changes as you can see on the data list. Now, we can come up with the conclusions that we are having a problem with this camshaft sensor. Before fixing our problems, let's take a look at the camshaft clock diagram where it demonstrates how the ACM control the camshaft position. The B6-15 and the B6-16 are the intake and exhaust camshaft sensors which will send the exact positions of our camshaft to the ECM. Then, the ECM will adjust the camshaft using our Y49-1 and Y49-2 solenoids. The signal in both sensors and solenoid must be transferred with no interruptions in order for the whole system to function efficiently this would be the our electrical side of the problem. On the other hand, we also have the mechanical side that might as well causing this malfunction. If the camshaft is not well aligned, the solenoid won't be able to adjust our camshaft timing. These are the camshaft segment discs, which generate the hall signal indicating our camshaft positions. In a wiring diagram, as we have seen, the DTC came from the exhaust camshaft sensor, which is the B6-16. This sensor has three wires. The first one is power, third is ground, and the second one will be signal. So that's it for our theories. Now we will check the sensor. This is the exhaust sensor. And this is the intake. Now we will check the exhaust cam position sensor. The factory has already numbered the pin on the connector, so you will know which pin is which. Firstly, we will have to check the power of this sensor using DC voltage scale on our VOM. The power switch must be turned on to do this. I have already brought the electrical wire to the VOM. As you can see, there is 12 volt on the VOM, which means power is present. Now, we will check the ground to this sensor using our continuity on our VOM. You will need to turn off the engine ignitions and wait for 2 to 3 minutes. As you can hear the continuity beeping sound, which means this sensor's ground is good. Lastly, we will need to use the oscilloscope to receive hall signal that our sensor sends to the ACM. I will check both of the sensors for you to see the differences. Evidently, there is no signal from the exhaust camshaft sensor which is indicated by the blue line. From this result, we can say that this sensor is broken and we will have to replace it. After changing it, we have to clear the system for code and double check the data again. Now we still have to check the scanner again. Go to a read for code. As you can see, the code is still there but the status has been stored. So we have to clear it. Now we're going to check the data once again. Now there's feedback. Either the engine is in idle positions or accelerations.
As you can see in the screen, this is the signal data when both of the sensors are working. In conclusion, we have the check engine lights on, but the engine is still running, and there's feedback when we press the gas pedal. After diagnosis and checking on the relevant component, we conclude that the exhaust camshaft position sensor is broken, and we have it replaced.